Hi everybody, Mature Simmer here. So, I'm going to be heading into the second round here at the Miller Championship and see where that takes us. I keep looking at that logo behind there. I'm trying to figure out if it's like a... It almost looks like a fish in the shape of a lake. It's just strange. 2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage right. of the Miller Championship. Let's try to jump in here. I'm guessing it's the shape of the lake or something, but it's because it looks like I don't know. There's like a dark circle that looks like an eye. Like it literally looks like a puffer fish or something to me, with a crown on it. I don't know. You tell me. And you can't continue to do that with any hopes of winning. You have to go ahead and start trying to take advantage of the conditions. Hit it close a few more times. And until they start All right. That, I don't see them, uh, well, the I've mentioned in previous uh, videos, Headspace, Headspace, might be a little bit of that going on here. So, as a bit of the Headspace test, um, gone ahead and jumped in relatively quickly after the last round to just be like, can I shake things off? Like, I want to be able to kind of test that theory, if you want to say, and just jump into another round and uh, hopefully have, a, you know, a decent result. I'm also trying to figure out why it says plus 15 when I'm pretty sure I was plus 16. That's interesting. Opting for the six iron. Well, hmm. towards the rough, this one. Can't explain that one. Yeah, this lies pretty deep here. He's going to have to go down after this one, try and dig it out but, as best he yeah, can. Yeah, not, not a great position right now, I'll tell you that. So, uh, probably here. The other one is, I think, going to likely go way too far. Yep, yeah. Just imagine where the other one would have ended up if I added another six yards to my possible distance. I'm going to go back a bit here. Close reads continue to be my problem. Still not enough back. A double bogey putt in front of them. Rolling end over end. Ooh. This putt's looking great. It started to look like now it was going to yank left still. Day, Rich. Nope, it looked like you were out there, Luke. Lucky to get away with a double bogey. Here we are at the Ooh. Wind, wind, wind. We are pulling this back, that's for sure. Because even with the wind up, like the elevation up, that would only give me uh, three yards back. So I definitely need to pull back a bit. To have chosen the seven mm, not this horrendous, the but green. it's a pretty tight target. So, all right, well, it still ended up on the green. I was worried it was going to be a severe well, bounce and into the bunker. But we didn't get that, so... Yeah, this is... This is downhill. Alright, clearly not moving anywhere near what I thought. That, that was, in my mind, a pretty big miss. Um, I think I way overcompensated there. Good stroke. Alright, oh, right, not bad. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. All right, so yeah, this is more probably what would be considered medium wind. Ah, I'm thinking. I, I'm definitely thinking more about my swings, and that does historically tend to Luke, get me in trouble. Unfortunately, that got a horrible so, um, yeah. I was hoping it was going to stay short. 36, that's going to put me at 152. Yeah, this will be at least 40. We're still at 152, so we're going to go full 4 iron here. All right, a little bit more normal. Are we going to get enough of a roll? We are. Sweet. 
Oh, that's a lovely looking shot in the birdie range. That Here is a lovely looking look shot. Nothing gets past you. Yes. Thank goodness we did not squander the gift. <laughs> Again, the headspace. I think this is going to be a lot of commentary about headspace in this one because that's really what I need to work on. I really need to just be able to to just play and and just execute and not become, you know, not lose the game in my head. I, I think that's how I would explain it. There's nothing going to hmm. slow that golf ball down after that. Not terrific, up. but not terrible. Ooh, if it had rolled down the path a little, we would have gotten a little bit better of a roll than that. But All right. Pretty straight on. Should be good. All right. Good swing. Way more power than I thought I was going to get out of that. I really didn't think I'd get anywhere near that rough. Penny. How bad is this line? I swear I was losing a few, like 10%. I don't know. I clearly didn't this see something clean. All right. Um, yeah, the heavy rough on this course is heavy rough. Um, there's some courses like on TGC that you'll play. You'll be in the heavy rough. You'll still be able to hit like in the upper 80s. But this takes a good, good hunk off. I mean, because so, we're really talking 20... Between 25 and 30 yards here, uh, but that's probably about where I need to be. So I don't want to again overdrive it. I want to end up beneath the hole, is what I've been told is the term. All right, we're on target. Yep, this so that's lovely. what I expected. Wow! It wasn't a pitch. That was a normal shot. So I don't know that I expected that, but I can see, I guess, with the way the green is, like what happened. But yeah, this is not the easiest putting on... Ooh. Wow. This putt about 11 feet in distance. All right. A bit of distance for sure. So it's kind of beyond the power. Wow. Ah, I really thought that was going to happen. And again, butterflies starting up. You know, I, I, I'm two strokes, one stroke back from what I think I started with. Uh, but two, worst case. Um, and I'm already, like, flustered. And I know that's a big part of then what causes the problem because the, the timing is so cru crucial in this game that even being off by a couple milliseconds because you're tense, um, I think is what kills me, honestly. So I've made the comment of like, play like I don't care. Um, but I... And the effort, that one. But, you know, and it's not that I wouldn't care, but to me, it, it, it's like playing a mental game with myself. Like, yeah, yeah, I really don't care. Let's just play. But I, I, I don't want it to come across like I don't care, because I do care. But And then again, because I know I'm doing that, like, it's not like I can fool my brain, you know, myself. It's like, ooh, I'm going to fake myself out, and this is what I'm going to do. Well, clearly, my head knows what I just said, so you, you know what I mean. I'm not going to try to get into the psychology of it because that's not my forte uh, the slow I'm like how is it continuing that way but the slow is basically what got it but ooh, I was worried about that bowl this is tricky because I in essence need to avoid the black hole to the left um but in doing so, I think if because it's so far away, I'm worried I'm going to power straight through, and I'm in essence going to end up almost exactly where I'm aiming, that it's not going to pull it back enough. Because it's really close to the edge of not having a little bit of black hole. Hmm. But I think this might work. Let's see. All right, it did bring it back. Oh, so close. All right. 
That was, I, was probably the best part. outcome I could have this hoped for from what I had there, because that that was a tricky, a tricky roll for sure. So I'm, I'll take that as a victory. Mm. And again, my brain was, I'm gonna fake myself out, and I'm gonna continue to think that way, and it didn't work. So I mean, will say the good news does seem to be, like, I've gotten a little better with the approaches being more consistent. Um, obviously, I still have some challenges off the tee that spring in here and there. Ooh, bad path and a slow, so I just, like, exacerbated the problem there. I don't know. Sometimes stuff happens. I, there's no other explanation for that one. Um, I don't think that was a... I think it was just a bad luck execution thing. Ooh. Well, it worked out because I was downhill that it trickled on, but it trickled on a long, long way away. So... Trying to stay out of the headspace, I'm going to be back in that kind of quick play thing because that's the only way I know to get myself out of it. And I know people have complained that that is also part of my problem then is I'm playing too quick. All I can say is I'm not going to take the shot before I've done the thinking. Um, and I may be thinking, you know, and, and the easiest way I can explain it is I may do the thinking faster than you think it's possible to do the thinking but I, I will assure you that I have thought it through and that they're not being rushed um, so if I'm not comfortable I'm gonna wait and, and the shot will take a little longer but I just feel that's what I need to do to move forward in this round appropriately so I want to explain what's what's likely to happen for the rest of this round is it's likely to be relatively quick play um, and again it's not because I'm not caring it's not because whatever it's just I think that's what I need to do to break out of that cycle so let's see what the result is at the end Ooh, maybe, maybe. Oh, well, that's a bit disappointing. I mean, again, it's it's unlikely from that far out. Too hard, I guess. Too hard, I guess. I'm like, there's a break. I need to power through it, but I probably overpowered it if I really think through what what I did there. So, a little bit of my own enemy there, which again is the whole point of what's going on with the headspace, right? Okay. Again, not a great result, but not not bad. I mean, it's a decent swing, is what I mean there. So I'm going to up this a bit, but not a lot. Um, that still went too far. Wow, that went really too far? With the with the seventy one eighty one percent, that is not what I was expecting. So again, if the chips don't actually take that off, someone let me know. But that was what my thought was: is I'm like, I may not even get the ball to hit before it gets to the green, and I may get stuck in the rough, and then suddenly I'm landing near the hole and rolling a mile past it. So this is the same thing. I'm looking at this like, yes, my full stroke would be 25, but I'm basically going to be down to 20, which I get is right near the hole. But, you know, so I'm going to, you know, maybe do a, a partial swing here, but, like, I don't understand. You know, again, I don't, it's still 96, so it was darn near full, but, like, that worked okay. But it should have been significantly shorter, I think, so there, there's a bit of confusion there. Again, powered through, absolutely thought that was going to break uh, with the way it was going. Now I'm kind of too far. 
Looking good. So now I need to be careful and actually put it and read it. A little slide happening here on the leaderboard. See if you can bounce back. So yeah, this is a bit of like a clean up round of again cleaning up the cobwebs in the head. Not too sure that was, but so, that didn't even come again, that's... Like a golf swing. Oh, you're just being mean. That's my swing, dude. <laughs> Penny, I'm sure I mean, yeah, it wasn't perfect, that but that's, oh, that's what I do. Luck in the second cut. It's sitting nicely. And again, with the I'm, I'm thinking it through, I promise. I know it's faster than I've done the last five, Penny, six rounds. Um... But I'm just going to have to ask people to kind of trust the process. And let's see if uh, if things go. Mm. It, it, the way it bounced, I thought it was going to slough off some speed more than it did. i got to say, I don't like their chances. I, I have been wrong once before, but I really can't remember when that was. Wow. Still more. Hmm. Right on four feet. Yeah, trying to get the reads. I, that has been an ongoing problem where I'm, I'm inches away one side or the other, and I just can't seem to catch how to get my my read to change. That's definitely... This is a headspace hole over water like this. It scares the hell out of me. And it really, I know it can't, or this is how I continue to fail. Um, but again, it's one of those easier said than done. I get that I need to just approach it and be like, no biggie. But it, I can't. Like, it just, it, my head doesn't work that way. I'm sorry. So maybe I'm doomed to be a, a crappy golfer the whole time. I don't know. Done. Maybe I'll never get a tour card. No. Negative thought out of the way. I know people are going to be like, why did you say that? Because I did. Because I'm being honest of, of the thoughts that flow through my head so that you guys understand how screwy I am. Okay. I'm clearly really misjudging the reads today. Like... I am overcompensating at some insane amount. Eh, not enough. Not enough on that one. Alright, so this will be a power through. There's a re there's a big break, so it's going to move. Alright. So that did what I expected, but sadly too many strokes because that was a three putt if not a four putt that was a three putt if that was a four putt i would have been on in one i think <laughs> no it's not what i'm thinking because i've just had window and aisle seats for so many rounds that it doesn't even phase me you're wrong <laughs> all right it's going to be tough to control the distance here. Ooh. Interesting with the slow, but the, the swirl swing, I guess, pulled it more than the slow did. Ah, uh, too partial. I love how I'm waving away the sand out of my face. That's pretty awesome. Come on. Well, at least I'm up. So, that did not go well. Usually, I'm, I've been better recently. Yeah, I could tell that was downhill. I, oh, I thought it was going to roll all the way off. I thought I had hit the crown. Still a couple inches. It is a game of inches, right? All right. I was worried I powered it a little too much, but I did not. So I will take that. Maybe that's what I need to do. I need to just do speed golf. Speed golf is... I don't know why my voice vanished on me there. That was odd. So, apologize, but... <laughs> and I'm semi-joking, but... Yeah. 
All right. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Playing from around 110 yards out. Wind is blowing left to right in a triangle. Uh, da, da, yeah. oh, I hate I hate when there's that big of a jump. Because that's about 15 yards between these two clubs is the problem. That's too much. That's not near enough. So we're going to go with that's too much and try this. Nine is not that far over. They've chosen to club down. All right, well, here. we got the perfect. So, oh, well, landed very close. So if I could have been back a little bit more, that might have been pretty sweet. This is looking solid. All right. Birdie's good. Second one. I had two the first round too. Let's let's uh let's improve on that. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Distance isn't bad. So I'll take the block the bogeys if they're bad. Ooh, well I got a perfect, but Wow. Well, all I can say is that has to be the uh, the green getting the best of me. Go in, go in. All right. All over the parking lot, but a chip in for par saves the day. Yes. Well, thirteen. That's unlucky for some, Rich. Stay out. Get a good bounce. Cool. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. Golf clap. Golf claps, yes. Those are always fun, right? All right. Hmm. Is it too far? Is it too far? I think it might be. So we're going to do the... So wind, but then that. They're fighting against each other. Ay ay ay. I'm going to go here. Looks to be going with the six and the slow still pulled it back, but maybe. Yep, all right. Hangs on. Getting ready to play their third. Again. Would I have liked to have been closer? Of course. Ah! I needed the timing to work for me on that. That one hurt. That one hurt. Ooh. Somehow I misread that. I got a bit of a break with the rollback. So I'll take that. Alright, I've been going too far over, so I feel like I should go more. Ooh, but that was closer. I mean, I lipped out there. So, seems I'm on the right track. And unfortunately heading in the wrong direction on the leaderboard after that hole. Going with the four iron here. Pretty sure that one's headed left. Huh? We got out of the heavy rough though. A little up and down here to save the path. So that works. Now this is downhill. So I am gonna really go short with it. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Okay. Perfect leave. Uphill can be firm. Well, yeah, it was almost too ball. fast, but again, less over than I thought I should go, and it worked out. So, trying to get, you know, figure out where I need to be aiming, really. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Lining up from around 160 yards. Wind back into their grill. They need to flight this one down. All right. Ah, very slow. Mm. Bad luck there. Bad luck there. I can't do that. I'm going to have to... 
we're gonna have to go with the pitch on this one but again a pitch on a wedge I think you know is okay I don't think I'm gonna get arguments from folks about that well, I got the fast but I guess that was the distance on that it I thought I'd get closer than that with the math I did in my head but obviously my math was off so well played but a bogey is not how we want to play it and this is a doozy to say the least really nothing out there except for water left and rough right which would you rather hit it to I'm taking the rough seven days a week second shot from yeah because you don't lose a stroke you funny man this is just a horrendous hole for challenge I'll tell you that to get it up and down for that birdie. Um, because you have to, you have to aim here. Oh, but then you've got that line. Wow, this is such a demanding hole. Yeah, with the All right, right I, I need to compensate yeah, that way. I mean, it's safer, but right I don't know. I, I don't know that I expected it to go quite that straight, but that's fine. I think I'd rather do that than the alternative. So. Uh, very fast screwed me up. Because then, then it does, the ball isn't spinning right, is what really kind of seems to be going on there with the game physics. And that ends up obviously being a problem. Come on. Thank you. Alright. Again, I was like, I think I got it. It was close enough. I'm like, obviously I'm going to putt it rather than try to chip it. Now let's see. Because this is how I got eaten last time. Again, there's not anything that can... I can't not make the cut any more than I'm making, not making it, so... Oh well. Too sure what they were trying to do with that swing. That wasn't going to work either way. Oh, we can hit it from there. We're going to take it from there. It's going to be horrendous, I think, but Well, doesn't take a genius to know that this is not a good place to be. All right. Going with the six iron right. here. At least we're out. Good option. Take your medicine and try and get it up and down from there. So it's unfortunate that I didn't get a shot to see if I could have driven it, but um, I didn't. Mm, yeah. We've got to make it, so we're, we'll go a little long. And that's not going to do it, but we're safe. Uh, he's not hit the mark on that approach. Oh, as we can see there, the wind definitely affecting that shot. Still for, still far. Wow. How close was that to going down? I really thought when it landed the first time, I thought it was headed in. It's looking solid. And there it is. All right, decent pot, but it was a triple bogey with the water. So, given that I. It done well on the other one. I don't know. Ooh. Sounds like a form of currency. Well, was that a headspace thing? I can't tell you. Um, I was definitely thinking about the shot more. No, this is like hitting it into a head of cabbage. I mean, it literally is just awful. Ooh, that was a little bit of an interesting pass at it. Wow. That's gonna fall in the water, sadly. You know what, I'm, I just realized after I hit that, I probably should back up more and end up on a flatter lie. I mean, I don't know that I that's possible. But that's a bit, like again, I may be my, where I'm picking the lie might, I'm more like, well, I don't want to go back and lose more yards, but then I'm like, yeah, I might have been able to find something a little more flat if I went a little fat farther, so... 
I will will give myself that. All right, sweet. That's that swing didn't quite good. Is their seventh shot? Do I? Uh, I'll go ahead. I was like, do I putt it? Again, I, it landed and I saw it spin off, so that one I knew wasn't going to end up where I needed. Now. now this is going to be just putt. A little too hard, I guess. Pretty sure they wish they would have taken it out there. Gets that one to go down, and that'll end the day's work. All right. I think I lost a few strokes toward the end that I obviously would have preferred not to. Wow. All right. I'm telling you, it's a it's a terrible feeling missing the cut. But you learn from all the mistakes you made, you move on and hopefully forget about it or fix so, the problems before you tee it up next time. Overall, um, and again, did it cause some of my problems after the thought passed through my head? Maybe. So at one point, I was going to make a comment, and I'm like, no, I'm going to wait till the end, and uh, we'll talk about it then. So um, there was a span for three or four holes where I would say s shots were pretty solid coming in. Um, where I did pretty well, and it, the thought that I was going to vocalize at that point is, again, playing quickly, even though some people are like, that's bad, that's bad. And again, I, I, I'm just asking folks to consider, that's bad for you. Like, you know that playing quickly, what it does to you, but I'm just asking kind of respect the, the process again of, what it does, at least to me, seem to do to me. Like, I seem to do better if I play quicker. And and I think the only reason I think that is is it just it doesn't allow me to get in my head as much because I don't have as much time. Um, and I get the argument that people are, you know, you're, you're making mistakes. I, you know, again, you can go back to just that last hole where I'm, pulling back, I'm picking a lie, I'm hitting the button, I'm going. Um, and then suddenly afterwards, I'm like, ah, if I had taken, you know, three more seconds to think about it, uh, I, maybe I would have pulled back a little further. But again, I'm owning that, I'm, you know, and I'm recognizing it. So that's, I think, a qu an important point in this discussion as, as we kind of have this virtually and you guys comment either on Discord or in the comment that's where I'm thinking it through. Like, I, I understand my mistake if I'm rushing, and therefore it is then in my head about in the future when I'm thinking about it. Like, well, maybe I want to take a, an extra beat here and think about this. But again, it, that's where we start getting into differences. An extra beat for me may be faster than an extra beat for you. And so it doesn't mean that I'm not rethinking through that, um, but I've definitely gotten, you know, some pushback early on, and, and I did slow down, and I certainly have slowed down. Like, I think this round is still going to go in. You know, I used to get rounds done in sometimes barely over 20 minutes, 20, 22 minutes and 18 holes. I think this is still going to be up near the half hour, even though it was a little quicker, but that's quicker than what I've been doing recently, which has been more, you know, in the 30s, sometimes going up into 40 minutes for a round. Um, so this was a fast round, but it's not as fast as the others. So I think it would show that, yes, I'm, I'm still being more deliberate because it is taking me more time. Um, you know, it's not like it's taking me more time because I'm shooting plus 50 now where I used to shoot plus 20. Um, you know, I still got plus 19. I still got plus 20 this time. Um, but it took me five to ten extra minutes than it used to. So there's still more thought going in there. Um, you know, but I, th I think this becomes the challenge with a game like this that is very much both mental and then physically executing motions. Um, is it just, there's, there's, it's going to be different for each of us um, in all those processes. And um, so, you know, again, I, 
I, I want people to comment. I want them to be helpful. But um, it goes back to that thing of I, I, I've just got to wrestle these demons to the ground myself um, at, at the end of the day. Like I've got to, you know, calm myself down so that I can be, you know, swinging more methodically and this and that. Um, and I think the feedback I've gotten from most people is like, you know, they see the fact that I can do it. It's just now they're trying to be encouraging. And I, I appreciate that where people are like, you got this, you know, I expect you're going to have a good week next week for TGC tours. Um, you know, but I'm just going to keep plowing away and we'll see where that takes us. So hopefully that helps again. Uh, feel free to comment and so forth and um, but I'm just trying to share as openly as I can where where my head is at and how I'm thinking about it and why I feel the way I feel and then you can take that and, and go with that and comment from that but uh, hopefully again unfortunately we didn't didn't get the result we wanted but it's the result that we've been getting so it's not unexpected if you've enjoyed this uh, and you're not a subscriber please consider both a like and a subscribing and i will see you next time